let us discuss about ossification now ossification is the process of bone formation it involves two steps first is differentiation of the bone forming cells called osteoblasts and second is calcification of the organic bony matrix laid down by the osteoblast cells so here we see calcification is not equal to ossification calcification is just a part of the broader process called ossification now we have to remember that bone tissue is always formed on a preform preformed structure or surface depending on whether this surface is a membrane or cartilage ossification is divided into two types the intramembranous ossification and endochondral ossification the bones in the body will develop via intramembranous type of ossification are the flat bones like scapula mostly the bones of skull like parietal bone frontal bone occipital bone and by endochondral ossification mainly the long bones in the body develop like femur humerus etc except for clavicle which is a modified long bone but develops by intramembranous ossification now let's see what is this intramembranous ossification now imagine the skull bones where this bone has to develop skull bone has to develop there what happens the mesenchymal cells these mesenchymal cells are actually the pluripotent cells which are mesodermal in origin and which can give rise to connective tissue cells so these mesenchymal cells they organize themselves to form a fibrous membrane so formation of fibrous membrane is the first step now these missing camel cells they gradually start converting into osteoblasts so they are differentiating into osteoblasts when the blood vessels in the vicinity starts developing so as we know the blood bone tissue develops when there is good blood supply and oxygen supply so in the center of this membrane the missing camel cells they start convert differentiating into osteoblastic cells these osteoblastic cells then they start secreting the organic matrix so around them they secrete organic matrix and also differentiate into osteocytes so next when we see at it what do we see that the osteoblast cells they have reached the periphery of this developing bone tissue the inside has become organic matrix the ossification has started and the osteocytes are now present 
inside within their lacunae so this is how the bone formation is started from the center and this point where the ossification has started is called primary center of ossification which appears before birth now another thing which these osteoblast cells do is they secrete an enzyme alkaline phosphatase now this alkal alkaline phosphatase enzyme it helps in calcium salts deposition within this organic in organic matrix that means it is responsible for calcification of the bony matrix so this is how the ossification has taken place the ossification keeps on increasing that means more and more membranous tissue now converts into the bone by radiating in different directions by the actions of osteoblast so next what we get we get that an irregular shaped bone tissue is formed and then this bone tissue these spoke like extensions are called spokes they are like spokes of the wheel on oh, sorry these are called the spicules then further this bony tissue they start joining with each other so what do we get we get a bony matrix this is the bony matrix where the osteocytes are present within the lacunae and in between the bony tissue we start getting the bone marrow so this is how we actually get the trabeculae and the bone marrow that means first the type of bone which develops is the cancellous or the spongy bone next you have to remember that the skull bones they have two tables this is you are looking at the skull bone from its border so what do we see it has upper outer and inner tables and in between the two tables there is spongy tissue so outer and inner tables are actually compact bone and in between this area is the cancellous bone now this cancellous bone and compact bone they are actually developing gradually by the action of two type of cells the osteoblasts and osteoclasts this osteoblast and osteoclast if you see where do we get them we get these cells this is the bone marrow and this rest is the bone tissue the trabeculae so osteoblast and osteoclast we get at the periphery of the trabeculae where they come in contact with the blood so here we get two types of cells osteoblast and osteoclast now by the balanced action between the two the bone remodeling takes place what is bone remodeling nothing but what we have discussed 
in the later part the formation of cancellous bone and then conversion of a part of cancellous bone into a compact bone now a bone tissue it keeps on growing up to the adult age by interstitial by by sorry appositional positional method of development so how it happens it happens by the balanced action between osteoblasts and osteoclasts